Hello, Dr. Lisa Welch here. Today I want to see if I can clear up some of the confusion surrounding the different types of tests that are available for COVID-19 and the different types of immunity that we can have for the disease. First, there's the test that we keep talking about in the news that we have a shortage of, that there's drive through testing for, that requires a nasal swab or a throat swab. That's testing to see if you're actively sick with COVID-19 at the time. The second type of blood of test they're talking about is a blood test. That test is going to tell you if you've had COVID-19 and have then recovered from COVID-19 and have the antibodies for it. The reason why we want to know these things is it tells us about your immunity. There are four types of immunity. The first type of immunity is naturally acquired active immunity. This is what we're finding out from that blood test. The blood test tells us you've had COVID-19 and you recovered from it. Whether it was um, an active case where you had symptoms or if it was asymptomatic. Either way, your body developed antibodies against it and now you should not be able to get the disease again if you're exposed. This would be like having the chicken pox. You actively had the chicken pox, you had the outbreak, you recovered from it, now you have the antibodies and you shouldn't be able to get chicken pox again. The second type of immunity is called artificially acquired active immunity. This would be acquired through a vaccination. This is what we're all hoping for we can get the vaccination, then we won't have to get the disease, and then we'll be immune and we'll be able to go out and not uh, worry about being able to get the COVID-19 again. This would be like getting the ch chicken pox vaccination. So you're vaccinated and then you can't get the chicken pox again. So a vaccination confers that type of immunity. The third type of immu immunity is called Pass, uh, artificially acquired passive immunity. This is the, what they're talking about when they talk about giving blood from somebody who's recovered from COVID-19 to a person who is actively trying to recover from COVID-19. The person who had COVID-19 has those active antibodies in their blood, in their plasma particularly, and then if you give it to a person who's suffering from the disease, that will help them recover because those antibodies will help fight off that virus. After that person recovers, those antibodies will no longer be active, but they will then be able to produce their own. So they were passive, they were a short period of time, and then the person has to recover and make their own antibodies. The fourth type of immunity is called naturally acquired passive immunity. This is the one that we know the least about with COVID-19. So this is where a uh, mother passes on antibodies to the fetus through the placenta or passes on antibodies through the breast milk to their breastfeeding baby. This is what we know the least about. Um, there's still research going on to see how much immunity is going to be conferred from mom to child if she were to have had the disease during that time frame. So I hope this clears up a little bit of your confusion about testing and the different types of immunity that you can have against COVID-19. Thank you.